Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, and I'm gonna to talk to you about how do you outsource your client projects. So if you're an agency owner or a consultant or a freelancer, the question I'm gonna answer in this video is, should you outsource your tasks to other freelancers, consultants, and agencies? Is that a good idea? And what cautions do I have for that entire process? Now I wanna start off by saying there are many times where this makes sense. It can lead to easy money. And I'll say that with air quotes, it leads to easy money. But without a process in place for dealing with these outsourced contracts, it can be painful. You can actually lose money on these projects or you can lose time. You can spend all your time managing these projects and it will suck all the profit out of the project. It can ruin client relationships and it can give your business a bad name. And there are even cases where you can violate the terms of your client contract and break the law by outsourcing your project. So make sure that those terms are not in your contract if you're ever gonna consider outsourcing. So why do agencies fail when they're outsourcing work? It's because they don't make adjustments to their business model. They assume that their previous model will work just fine when you have subcontractors, but the truth is it's different when you're working with subcontractors than when you're working with employees. There's an entirely different economic model to it, and so your employees who are on a fixed salary Yes, you can give them one more project and it's gonna be profitable. But when you're working with subcontractors, if you don't scope it out right, they could eat up all your profits or cost you more than the entire project that you bid. And I've seen this happen hundreds of times for agencies who don't know what they're getting into, thinking they're going after easy money, and it turns out it doesn't work very well at all for them. So if you haven't adjusted your business model yet and you wanna outsource, you need to adjust to the new reality. Outsourcing, it's something that can be very lucrative for your business, if you do it the right way. Number one, charge your clients appropriately for the service being performed. It's not just about charging an amount that you would normally charge or something you're comfortable with. You need to adjust the charge in order to account for the new business model, which is using subcontractors. And you need to understand that if they go over in their time, that it doesn't suck into your profits, that if they go over in their time and they didn't estimate things right, it's on them, it's not on you. You can't be the middleman or the middle woman in between these two different projects and hope that it's going to work out, especially if you don't account for the upside or the downside that comes with the resources you're working with. Number two, build strong margins into your pricing. Make sure that you account for the margins that you want to get in your business. And I would say the margins of outsourcing should be at least 50%, but preferably even lower than that if you want to make a profit from an outsourced project. Really, if you can't make at least 50% off of what the people charge you, the outsourced labor charges you, then you are not gonna make a profit because you have other operating expenses for your business, you have project management expenses, and you need to also get credit for the sale itself. So you need to get a sales percentage because you're the one who sold the deal and you should get credit for that because you did the work to get that client relationship in the first place. Number three, if your clients ask if you're outsourcing, be transparent. Just because it's not in the contract doesn't mean that they shouldn't know in case they need to know. If you're working on sensitive data, if you're working on projects that they don't expect to be outsourced, be honest and make sure that it's okay with them because you don't want to be in for surprises. And yes, agencies work with outsourced resources all the time, happens every single day, but just be clear about it. Don't lie, make sure you're honest because otherwise bad things could happen to you if you're not honest with what's happening in your business. Number four, be very clear on the work that needs to be delivered, both with your clients and with the person who's outsourcing. If you can't give the outsourced labor the exact definition of what they need to do and how they need to do it and the budget for it, then they're probably gonna come in over budget in the end. They're probably gonna take more time than they said it would and it's all gonna be your fault because you didn't set expectations. Make sure you're very clear with this thing and say, hey, if I'm gonna outsource this to you, I need to make sure that I'm getting a return and here's what I expect. Set expectations, otherwise you're gonna be in for some harsh realities with that part of your business. Number five, build your project management time into the estimate. Don't just think because somebody else is doing the work that you're not gonna have no work at all. A lot of times it takes way more effort than you think to be the liaison between your client and the outsourced resource. So build in that project and account management time so you make sure you get paid for it and factor it into your profit models as well. Number six, have tight project deadlines, scopes of work, and definitions of what you're getting done. Again, make sure that you are very clear with what needs to happen and who needs to do it. And number seven, account for the new reality of a completely different business model than how you run things in your agency normally. It is a different business model and you need to make sure you account for it because otherwise you will not be profitable even if you do the exact same thing that you're used to doing for your normal business. Outsourcing can be a major profit generator for your business, but most agencies don't do it right and they actually lose more than they gain and they don't find it to be worthwhile and they say outsourcing doesn't work and it's not really the fault of outsourcing, it's not really the fault of their clients, it's their fault 
because they're sitting right in the middle and they have not made the adjustments that we're talking about in this video. Or it's because they have no process in place or finally, because they have the wrong business model. At the end of the day, the question of whether you should outsource or not is a numbers game. Now an agency jumpstart course, my flagship program for agencies and small business owners, we provide many calculators, frameworks, and decision-making models that you can use to decide whether you should outsource or not. And so it doesn't have to be a guess, it doesn't have to be something where you're just throwing it on the wall to see if it sticks. We provide you something that's based on the reality of your business using your own numbers to see if you should be outsourcing or not. So if you're interested in learning more about taking your agency to the next level, visit agencycourse.com, sign up for our newsletter, and you can get the Sage blog, and we'll let you know the next time we open up the Agency Jumpstart course. So you can get these calculators and you can make a better decision about whether you should outsource or not and make better decisions about your overall business.